the routing process provides several options for finding a trip that is permittable for the specific vehicle configuration. There are two main groups of routing methods. One method allows you to tell the system where you need to start and end, and then you ask it to find the most preferred permittable trip. The other methods allow you to specify a trip you want to take, and then ask the system to analyze it to determine if it is permittable. The Define Trip Options box on the Routing tab provides a list of the routing options. The first option is Automated Origin and Destination. The Automated Origin Destination Routing option is the method that takes an origin and destination and then does all the trip selection and analysis. Automated routing uses state route preference, road, bridge, and restriction data to determine the most preferred permittable trip. The automated routing does have some rules that may prevent it from finding a permittable trip in some cases. For example, the automated routing will not select a trip that is more than a certain amount longer than the shortest overall distance between the origin and destination. The automated routing tries to prevent the determination of trips resulting in significant additional travel, and flags those by showing the initially reviewed trip with a suggestion to involve the state to determine if something can be done. You should use this method when you have had issues trying to select your own trip, or if you do not have a preference for exactly how to travel between the origin and destination points. You do not need to use the map at all for the automated route. You can use the map if you want to define the origin and or destination by picking rather than textually. Picking the origin and destination locations is limited to the ends of the route segments. Textually defining the origin and destination allows for more precise locations to be selected. Disjoint or off-network trips are not supported by automated routing because it tries to find a contiguous trip from beginning to end. The next option is Select Segments. The Select Segments option is one of the methods that allows you to specify a trip you want to take and then ask the system if it is okay. The trip you want to take is defined by picking on the map. You must pick where you want to start and then pick a second time on that first route so the system knows what direction you want to travel. You then need to pick a minimum of one time on each subsequent route in the trip, though you can make as many picks as you want. End the trip by picking the ending location on the last route. You cannot be very specific with the locations you use for start and end points. You are limited to the way the route segments are defined in the state data. The select segments method allows you to define trips that are disjoint or in other words, trips that may need to go off the state network. Text description is the next option. As with the select segments method, the text option allows you to specify a trip you want to take and then ask the system if it is okay. The trip you want to take is defined by using a tool or wizard to help you textually define where you will start, all the routes you will travel on, and where you will end. You do not need to use the map at all via the text description. You can use the map if you want to look around and determine where your next turn may be. The map will also automatically update to show the trip you have selected on each entry and will show possible start, turn, or ending locations if more than one exists. You can be very specific with the locations you use for start and end points. The textual entry can include state borders, any specific mile point along the route, as well as items such as intersections with routes in the network. The text description also allows you to define trips that are disjoint. Any trip that you use can be saved by clicking the Save Trip icon above the Define Trip Options box. If you have any saved trips, you can reload them via the Load Saved Trip Routing method. This method will provide a form with a list of all the trips you have available. The list of trips will include all trips you have saved, along with any trips 
the state has saved and made available for public use. When you load a trip, it needs to be analyzed. The trip will be defined exactly as it was originally. Exact start and end locations, and whether or not the trip is disjoint, is all controlled by how the trip was originally selected. When the trip is reloaded, it will be shown on the map. No other map manipulation is needed. 